now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, for the first time in a couple of days, I got into my car this morning and uh, didn't have to immediately roll down the windows to let all that hot air out. And you know, even the last couple of afternoons, it's almost, it's almost been too hot yeah. to be outside with my 17-month-old. Mm. So today, we're making plans. We're going to get out there and enjoy this beautiful day. As we take a look right now at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, uh, we are back to some refreshing air, dry skies as the radar sweeps through Block Island Sound. No troubles, just needing your sunglasses. Maybe even rolling down those windows in the car just to let in some of that nice air. And City Cam right now showing the dry skies and some sunshine. 72 the temperature. Northwest winds at about 9 miles an hour. Going to become a little breezy this afternoon. Humidity very low at 40 uh, percent. So as we go throughout the daytime, we're still going to be able to climb up. Look at uh, Horizon Bay Manor at Coventry. Still 68 degrees, 73 in Narragansett, low 70s Newport. Some of our weather spotters, though, reporting low and even some upper 70s for Mike in New Bedford with only 16 percent humidity. He said it's the kind of day he would take all year long. Caitlin in Warwick, 72. She said it's cool and calm. The 24-hour temperature change. Now, this is going from noon yesterday. We are 13 degrees cooler than yesterday in Providence, and overall, about 10 to 15 degrees cooler in most spots. Still a spinning low-pressure center up in Canada. It's this system right here that's going to swing a real weak disturbance through tomorrow, maybe generating a sprinkle, but its main job right now is to bring in that west-northwest flow and allow for that much cooler air to come in. So I have us at 76 at 1 o'clock, about 79 at 3 and 77 at 5 this evening. Heading home for the evening commute, just sunny and dry, mid and upper 70s initially, but it's going to cool off quickly this evening once the sun sets. If you have tickets to go see the Red Sox, ladies especially, you may want to throw a light jacket in the car. 77 Central Falls, Rumford at 78, 79 downtown. Uh, for a high today, coming in in the mid and upper 70s, Garden City, Barrington, and Riverside. 10 to 15 mile an hour west northwest wind today. Uh, Narragansett at 77 for a high. URI at about 78. Nice cool day in Chapachet. Coventry at about 78. And uh, Plymouth, Hyannis, Chatham all coming in in the mid and upper 70s, about 79 in New Bedford. The beach today, sunny but breezy. Air temperatures about 77, right around the mid to upper 70s. Water temp 73 and a safe sun time of about 12 minutes. So a little bit of a chill in the air tonight. We woke up this morning around the upper 50s to 60. Tonight, we'll have some spots in the low 50s. I think many of us will average out in the mid 50s under cool, dry, and mostly clear skies. Thursday starts out sunny, but some clouds will billow in the afternoon, and there's even a small chance of a sprinkle, 71 to 76. It's the coolest day of the stretch for tomorrow. Tropical satellite here showing Hurricane Alex still has the potential to strengthen briefly into a Category 2 storm before making landfall later on tonight or early tomorrow morning. 81 mile an hour sustained winds gust to nearly 100 and moving to the northwest right now. Go ahead and take a look at that uh, seven day future cast for you. Really comfortable next couple of days. Days in the 70s, nights in the 50s. And then the warm-up begins Saturday and continues into the holiday Sunday. Hazy, hot, and humid near 90. And if we can do 90 three days in a row, it'd be our first heat wave of the summer. We'll make a run at it Monday and Tuesday. And it looks like even maybe Wednesday with temperatures up near 92. You can get your updated forecast and live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar 24 hours a day on the Pinpoint Weather Station, Cox Digital Cable Channel 125.